Preventive maintenance is a regular and systematic inspection, detection, and correction of possible problems in our computer system in order to prevent system failures and to maintain the functionality and efficiency of the computer devices and components. Preventive maintenance can be done in hardware or software. Keyboard is one of the computer devices that is needed to be cleaned to prevent it from having issues like stock, jam, malfunctioning, and stuttering keys. This device is open-faced that can catch different small particles. The tools to be used are microfiber cloth, cleaning solution, and brush or compressed air. In cleaning the keyboard, remember to not spray any liquid directly onto the keyboard because it may cause damages to the device. Use a damp microfiber cloth to wipe its surface. To clean the keyboard, remove the dust and dirt first by using a brush. Use the brush in between keys and on the surface. Next, get your cleaning solution or the mixture of alcohol and water and spray it onto the microfiber cloth. If there are no microfiber cloth available, you can use a cotton cloth. Wipe the damp cloth on the keyboard's keys and sides gently. Mouse is one of the most used peripheral devices that can easily get dust and grease. The mouse is needed to be cleaned, especially the sensors, to prevent issues like erratic mouse movements. The tools or materials that are needed in cleaning the mouse are microfiber cloth and cleaning solution. In cleaning, don't spray any liquid directly onto the mouse and its sensors to prevent damage. Use a damp microfiber cloth to wipe its surface gently. To clean the mouse, unplug it first from the computer. Then using the damp microfiber or cotton cloth, wipe its side and surface gently. Clean also the mouse pad with the damp cloth. Computer monitor is the device that displays different information. Dust, dirt, and other airborne particles can easily attach onto the screen due to its static electricity. And this dirty monitor can cause more eye strain when viewing on the screen. In cleaning the monitor, we need microfiber cloth and cleaning solution. Remember to unplug your monitor first to avoid electric shock. Don't use any abrasive materials in wiping the monitor to prevent scratches. Don't spray any liquid directly onto the screen and use a damp microfiber cloth to wipe the surface gently. To clean the monitor, unplug it first. Then, we will need a microfiber cloth or a cotton cloth that won't cause scratches to the screen. Spray cleaning solution to the cloth. 
use the damp microfiber or cotton cloth to wipe the screen, its side, and back gently. The system unit or chassis is the housing that protects and organizes all the components inside, such as the motherboard, processors, memory, fans, etc. Over time, dust and dirt can build up on the case that may damage it, and the fans can also get dust which may cause overheating and corrosion on some components. The tools to be used are the brush, microfiber cloth, and cleaning solution. Remember to unplug first the system unit before cleaning it to avoid electric shock. Use a damp microfiber cloth to wipe the case and cover. Do not spray or use any liquid on the internal parts of the system unit. Use an anti-static mat and strap if possible. Unplug first the cables that are connected to the system unit. Then wipe the case and cover with a damp cloth. After that, gently open the system unit, brush the system unit and the components gently to remove dirt and dust. After the dirts are removed, you can now put back the cover and the cables. To update your Windows computer, just go to Settings. You can look for it on the search bar. Select Update and Security. Then select check for updates and the computer will scan for it. If there are any, you can install it so your device will be updated. To scan for virus on your computer, go to settings by searching it on the search bar. Select update and security. and then select Windows Security. After that, click Open Windows Security and select Virus and Threat Protection and then click Quick Scan. The computer will then scan for any viruses that may harm your computer or network. After some minutes, the quick scan is done and there are no possible threats on my computer. Some files or programs on our computer may be no longer needed or unused for a long time. We can uninstall some of these to free up space. Open settings by searching it on the search bar, select the apps, 
there, you can look for the app that you don't need and consume storage. Select the unwanted or unused program and delete or uninstall it.